Welcome to this tutorial guys and in this tutorial we will learn how we can create virtual environments in Visual Studio Code. So if you are trying to create virtual environment for Python in Visual Studio Code, I am assuming that you have already installed Python in your windows that is not related to Visual Studio, it's just the Python interpreter. If you have not installed it, you can check out this video. Uh, you can also find the link in the description and you can check how you can install Python not related to Visual Studio. Okay, so if you already have Python installed, now we, we will also need to install Python extension in Visual Studio Code. So first go to this second last icon or that means extensions or you can press Control Shift and X and this extensions will open. Now type Python that will search for Python. Alright, I already have Python installed here. So uh, something like this will appear that the first one from IntelliSense. Now you can just type install that will be next to it. I already have installed it so it's not being shown right now. You can just click on install button and this will be installed. After this is installed, let's create a virtual environment for your project. Now virtual environment is something that you specifically create for different projects. So if you have project 1, you create a virtual environment for project 1. If there's project 2, you create another virtual environment for project 2. So right now I have this project, project right? As you can see, uh, the project folder name is crypto trading bot. So if you're interested in that, I'm creating that and I will upload how to make that soon so you can subscribe so you don't miss that all right now let's get back to topic so i have this project right crypto trading bot and right now if i see down here in the bottom right it is being shown python 3.10.0 now this is the global python so if i don't use any virtual environment this global python will be used and you might be seeing select an interpreter here so if you click on select an interpreter or your current python version you will see all the Python versions that are available to run this project. So right now I'm just seeing one that is the default Python that is installed and as you can see the path is app, local, programs, Python and Python 3.0. So this is the global directory where Python is installed. Now I don't want to use this. I want to use a virtual environment for this project so that I can install dependencies specifically for this project. So how can we do that? Okay, so to do that first you need to open your command window that is Control Shift P, right? Press Control Shift P. By now, I'm assuming you have already installed the extension Python from here. If you have not, go ahead. Otherwise, this will not, not this, but the option that we are going to do now will not appear. Now, write Python and add a create. What was it? Yeah. So type Python colon create environment. So as you can see here. I type just CR and the options appear so you can click on create environment and now you choose using what you want to create an environment. Now Conda is not shipped directly with Python 3 but VENV is so we will use VENV. You can click on VENV and now you will again see what you want to use. So right now we only have one global Python so I'll click on this and now you get the options to install dependencies right. So I already have a requirements.txt file here and this file contains all the dependencies for this project. So I can check this and click OK but that will take quite some time so I'll uncheck this and then click OK. And right now as you can see here in bottom right virtual environment is being created. Once it's been created uh, you will see that path, the path of that virtual environment here and even if you don't want this you can just click on this and change that path. So let's wait till the virtual environment is created. So as you can see we have this message now. We have selected the following environment. That is DE Python crypto trading. And if you check here, dot .vem file is also created and it contains Python 3.10. Now if I click here now, as you can see this one is selected. The one in the path venv slash script slash python.exe. This is the virtual environment that we just created and this is the global one. So if you want to choose, you can choose this again and it will be shown that the global Python is being used. But we just created a virtual environment for this and it is recommended also. So we will click on this and this virtual environment will be used for our Python project. Now if we run this file, now as you can see here, hello world, we are creating virtual environment and VS Code is being printed. Alright, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below.